This is the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm your host, John Irwin. This is uh, video number one, I want DHFR ligands. Uh, before we get started, uh, we'll just tell you a little bit about where this is coming from. It comes from the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, which you can see in front of you. So this is a question I get a lot, is people ask me, how can I find ligands for my target? Uh, for instance, uh, dihydrofolate reductase. I was just asked this today by email. And a lot of people, I think, expect me to tell them, well, uh, you should use DOC, for example, uh, UCSF DOC or DOC Blaster. Or then they might, if they've read other papers from this lab, they might think, you know, maybe I should use C. And so um, that's all fine. Both of those programs and methods can be used, but Today I'm going to be talking about using zinc to find ligands for dihydrofolate reductase. So uh, let's get started. We'll go to uh, the zinc website currently in beta, so zinc.zinc12.docking.org, and you can see it's got a new layout. And um, we're going to start with going to search, and of course you can search by the usual things: structure, properties, vendors. But today we're going to search by target. We're going to search by the annotated target, and this information comes from Kemble. So when we do that, um, you notice that I'm logged in here, so I'm going to log out so you can see what it looks like if you're not authenticated. Um, so now, here's the annotation, and these are annotations from Kemble. And so we're just going to start typing the uh, title of our, of our protein. So we're going to type in dihydrofolate reductase. And you can start to see that uh, they're from various... Um, uh, microorganisms, um, as well as E. coli, uh, yeast, and so on. And then uh, down the mammalian are down here at the bottom, and we're going to pick dihydrofolate reductase human. So it corresponds to a uniprot code of dyr underscore human. And we're going to check at the 10 micromolar level, uh, but we could easily have checked at the 1 micromolar level also. And so then we do run query over here on the right-hand side, and we wait a few seconds, and up comes some ligands, and you can see this new uh, tiled form presents more ligands on a single view, and now each of these ligands is annotated as active against dihydrofolate reductase human at 10 micromolar or better, and these compounds are commercially available. You can see, for instance, uh, the different vendors. There's seven, more than seven vendors that sell this compound and so on. And now, uh, just scrolling down, we can see that there are a total of 45, 46 compounds that you can purchase for human DHFR. And so that's the simplest way to get them. So now if you want to buy them, you can simply put them into your shopping cart, like this, click on each one that you want, and then we'll go to the, we'll go to the shopping cart, and you don't need to sign in to do this. And now we've got our six molecules that we've added in the shopping cart. And now we're going to click on the purchasability report. And now you can see that the company called Alpha Pyridines actually sells three of those six molecules. And so if you want to purchase them, here are the smiles, here are the codes. But you can, simp you can simply click on this link and it will compose an email message for you uh, so that you can inquire about the uh, price and availability of those compounds. Uh, and all you need to do is click send. So, as you can see, we've really tried to uh, s simplify the process of, of finding ligands for molecular targets. Um, and uh, just to uh, summarize, um, you've just watched a presentation, uh, a chemistry for biology presentation, called I Want DHFR Ligands. Uh, you can find this video and other ones on our website at docking.org slash video or on the YouTube channel uh, my YouTube channel listed here below. And uh, thank you very much. See